on the Law Podcast. As a speaker, as a orator, as a podcaster, right? Most importantly, as a podcaster, let's be clear. Um, there's a few things you want to bring, okay? One, you can't see the camera that's recording because I have my uh, Canon Rebel T7, and I have that because that's one angle that I'm going to be recording some content from, but then... Secondly, we also have, boom, right? This right here, this is my Canon Rebel T5i. This gets another angle for me with the podcast. So always bring that to record either content or to record me presenting or interviews, whatever it might be. So always, I like to have my two cameras and I always like to have my two tripods because that way I am able to get two different angles. I'm able to get more content and just make sure that you are able to capture the experience and document the journey because nobody else might not, might not get it for you. So you want to always have those things. You want always want to be in that position. All right. Then, um, secondly, what do we got? What do we got? I got my little Kohan shoes. My wife got me these shoes. I really enjoy I really enjoy and appreciate these shoes. I don't know um, if any of y'all have any of these, but I don't even know what these are called, but I like these. They're really comfortable. You want to have a comfortable pair of shoes, but then you also want to have, you know, some other comfortable shoes. So I got I brought two pair of shoes because I'm not sure what the dress code is, but I like to be comfortable. So I bring comfortable shoes. Okay. Further than that, y'all, bring a belt, okay? Bring a belt. You can't be out here sloppy. Bring a belt so you can dress accordingly. Okay. Further than that, um, we also have our, where are we at? Where are we at? We also have our Rode go-to wireless mics. Let me get, let me get that in the focus. We got the Rode go-to wireless mics. And I like to have those because... I pin it on me when I speak. Every time I speak anywhere, I capture audio. I need the audio, so I make sure to capture it. Point blank, period. No questions asked, okay? So we have two of those because I can capture my own audio, but in addition to that, I also want to be in the position to where I can capture a potential guest audio. So if I'm sitting down doing an interview, I'm getting their audio with the Rode, go to wireless, and then I'm getting the camera shots with my two cameras, right? So there's that. One thing I also like to do, I also like to bring books. I brought copies of, I brought two, I brought my two books, uh, Get Paid With Podcasts, and I also brought my other book, uh, Process. Uh, my coworker suggested, she said, John, give him, bring the book, give him a book. I said, I mean, might as well. So we're talking about podcasting and we're talking about interviewing during our session. So I'm going to give them these books so that they can go back, refer to, read through and continue to become studied in this arena of podcasting. OK, so we got that so far. We got we got microphones. We got cameras. Uh, you always want to have your laptop. Always want to have your laptop. And then you also. You want to have this kit for sure. Right, want to have this kit, get your toothbrush, get your body wash, get your shampoo, your lotion, your dental floss, all that's in here without a shadow of a doubt. You need that. Can't walk around with stanky breath. But then I also have my hard drive. I like to bring my hard drive with me. Why do I like to bring my hard drive with me? I like to bring my hard drive with me just to make sure that as content is captured, if somebody else captures it, I can say, hey, can I get that SD card? I just want to upload the footage real quick. There's no question about if it gets lost or what if I don't get it or what if it gets deleted. No, no, no. We're eliminating that because you can upload it right now. Yeah, thanks. Get that hard drive. But then make sure you have the cords that go with the hard drive. Because If you don't have the cords, then it's not going to do your hard drive any good. Okay. Now... Let's get into the close. Let's get into the close. Let's get into the close.
But like I said, these are I actually brought extra books. So these are my two books, Get Paid With Podcasting and Process. Well, Process, my first best-selling book, and then Get Paid With Podcasting, my second best-selling book. So got to have these on you at all times because this is a type of event to where I can make a connection with somebody that can change the game for me. So I want to just have books on me and I want to just be ready. Books are new business cards. Get you one. Okay, now let's talk about let's talk about clothes now. Okay, so we talked about shoes and being comfortable. Now with clothes, once again, since I don't know what the dress code is, I don't want to be super underdressed, but I don't want to also be super overdressed. So therefore, what do we have? This is my favorite white button down. This is a uh, Ben Sherman white button down. I got it from Nordstrom. Right. I need to hit it with an iron. But um, having a white button down is just it's classic. You know, just put this on, put on some jeans, put on some slacks. And I'm comfortable in it. So I'm going to rock it out. See what I'm saying? Because once again, I don't know what the dress code is, but I'm going to start high and I can dress down later. So let me put that over there to the iron. And then I'm going to be here Friday, which is tonight, Saturday. And I'm leaving out on Sunday. So I have a pair of pants for every day just in case. So what do we have? We have these blue slack-like pants. I can put these with that white shirt and we're good to go, ready to rock. And I got the white shoes. We're good. We're clean. It's bright. We in Florida. The sun is shining. Like, we're good. Okay? Then we're going to switch it up on them tomorrow because I have my coated denim. I like these coated denim pants. They almost pass as dressy. They might look at, like black to you. But I rock with these. I like these. So I'm going to wear them. Right? And I'm going to show you what I'm going to wear them with. But so day one, we got the, uh, we got the blue slacks with the white shirt. Uh, day two, we got the coated denim. And it's going to change the game, though. We got the coated denim, but look, ooh, we branded up, ooh. We got the speak your six, set. ooh, I gotta focus in on it. Ooh, we got the speak your success media printed polos. They embroidered polos, y'all. Oh, we killing the game. Had to pick these up yesterday, had to rush to pick these up before they closed. But we got the black, so I might wear the black with that Uh, with the coated denim, or say, I might come and get them with the coated denim with the khaki. Ooh, let's go. Okay? Because you want to be comfortable, and I've had shirts that have the Jonathan Jones Speaks logo on there, and I had those shirts for, I don't know, probably four or five years now at this point, and I knew it was time to upgrade, and I said, I need to get some shirts made before I get out here to this engagement, because it just... It just does something for the professionalism, right? So we're going to go. Yeah, we're going to go khaki with the dark. Yeah, yeah. And then we have the, we have these. They're brown jeans, but they they look casual-ish. They, they kind of give off that casual-ish vibe, but at the same time, they're still like, I think it looks professional. So that's what we're doing. So dress how you dress. Be comfortable. Be professional and be ready to, you know, just be ready to perform, right? So um, that's how we prepare. Uh, of course, I got a nighttime outfit and I have some uh, undergarments. I'm not going to show y'all that because I'm married. Uh, but I just wanted to break that down for you, breaking down how I prepare or how I pack for what I have coming up. And in, in addition to that, what else do I have in here? Uh, also, got a couple pair of socks. Um, and then what else do we have? And then I always have my clicker. Always, always, always have my clicker. Might not need it. They might have their own clicker. That's fine. But you always want to be prepared. So always got my clicker. And then I got, make sure I have the other part to connect into a computer, a laptop, wherever to where I can be able to click and handle my business. But other than that, we also want to have 
our battery chargers for our cameras because we don't want our batteries to go out. You never want that to happen. So battery chargers, battery chargers, and extra batteries. But other than that, y'all, that's going to wrap us up for this episode of Beyond the Ball. So like I said, when you're packing for an opportunity, and this is, so this is for student athletes, this is for staff, this is for coaches. Um, this is for people that are in that arena to where you're doing work with college athletes, you're doing work with athletes, you are an athlete. You want to be prepared. And being prepared looks like taking time to pack your items before you leave. And I wasn't always the best at that. I would never pack for the weather, right? I would always underpack. And when I underpacked, that would be the day that it decided to rain. And that would be the time I didn't have a rain jacket. So what I want you to do is, as you're packing, put the shirt on top of the pants. Like just like first day of school type vibe. Put the shirt on top of the pants. Okay, I'm going to wear that with that. That's going to work. I'm going to get them. Boom. Okay, put the next outfit. Shirt on top of the pants. We're going to do that. Like, okay, yep. Got the white shoes with the white shirt. Yeah, okay. Good. And then you, you can roll like that. Because when you begin to prepare for opportunities and when you begin to prepare for the moment, once the moment comes, you're already ready. You're already in that zone versus trying to, oh, what do I need to get together? What do I need to do? What do I, what do I need to be? That's not what we want to do. That's not how you capitalize on the moment. And that's not really how you take full advantage of the opportunity that's in front of you. All right. So this is Jonathan Jones reporting live from Gainesville, Florida. My first time in Gainesville. I'm excited to be here. Uh, shout out to Gator May. Shout out to the University of Florida football program. Uh, and they're doing amazing things. And I'm glad that I get to be a part in this journey and help these young men really get to see some success. But all right, family, until next time, uh, this is Beyond the Ball, where we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. Peace and God bless. Uh, this is Beyond the Ball, where we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. Peace and God bless.